What is up guys, EHEAL70 here, and today I'm back with another modding tutorial. This is going to be how to make your own food. So let's get right into it and start by making a file. You're obviously going to need Java, or you could use uh, Notepad Plus, or um, some other things. But you want to go to New File, and then you want to uh, go to where you want it. You obviously want it to be in your source folder where all the mod files are. You want to name it mod underscore like um all the mod files, and then you want to name it um, your food. So let's go something random, Andrew. <laughs> Some weird reason. I was thinking about this, but um yeah, click finish, and then let's get start right into the um coding. So first, like always, pa package net dot minecraft and it will be right there source then uh, you need your semicolon um then public class mod underscore anchovy extends base mod make sure um the b and m are capitalized and then that um you're gonna have an error at first, just uh like I'll go over um what everything means later on. So now we're gonna go to public static final item anchovy and then equals new item now put on um, these in five zero zero one comma six comma two f then comma false and then go outside your brackets here and dot set item name and then here let me just get out of there set item name two parentheses um patients and Toby is what your um items gonna your food's gonna be called and then you want your semicolon at the end. Now you wanna um go to sorry sorry for the on noise outside public go down actually to go down to so public void load and then uh, two parentheses and then um, what you will want to do next is actually on close my window is it, um yeah two uh, more of those except not this one nope whoops hit enter there so now you want to go to type in anchovy dot icon index equals mod loader make sure that's capital mod loader dot add override and then two parentheses now you want to hit uh, quotation marks slash dui slash items and then PNG and then you want to go um, hit a comma and then two more slash mods slash anchovy now this is um what you this is what uh, where uh, you want it to where your uh, picture image is going to be I just create mine in a folder called mods and then that I'll get to that later, but um, then you could put your semicolon at the end. And now you want to go mod loader, and then dot add name, and then uh, parentheses anchovy. So anchovy, and then um, two more parentheses, uh, quotation marks, and then anchovy again. And then you could just. Get rid of that. 
Who anchovy? Oh, next time I can do that. And then I got a simple form. So did I? And chili. Hmm. Okay, what was that? Said. So mod loader. Dot add recipe. Speed. And then this is um if you want to be able to uh, craft your food, which usually you can't do. But, um, well, sometimes you can. So, new item stack. This is, so, basically, this is just, like, um, a crafting re recipe, like, uh, to make, hmm, let's see here. Wooden planks, you need to put wood in a, in the um, slot. So, item stack, then another set of parentheses. Anchovy. Uh, comma. One. And then, other those parentheses. Uh, comma, new object, and then two of these, oops, two of these, um, square brackets here, and then with, you want to do these, and you want to go to, uh, quotation marks, and then type in um, any symbol. I'm just gonna put in that, and then comma and character dot value. One sec. Yeah, value of and then parentheses, and then no quotation marks for uh, these little things. And then the same symbol you put earlier, and then outside of that. You wanna put um, outside those parentheses, comma, block, dot, dirt. Uh, did I do that right? And then that, and outside that, here's some cool. One sec. Add recipe. I spelled that wrong. And then I think I did the add name wrong. That should be add name. Oops. Okay. No. So uh, I'll get to that in a minute. But um, I'm with decoding. If you go outside of those, uh, public string. Now get uh, no capital. Get version. And then two parentheses, and then uh, two more of these brackets, and then you want to type in in the middle of these, return, and then 1.2.5, because that's my Minecraft version. And then you could put your uh, semicolon there. So now let's see what, uh, what's wrong with this here. Change to add override. Okay, I just misspelled that. Anchovy. Hmm. Oh, I forgot my comma there. And then there. Should have no errors. So now what we need to do um, is create your image. So you just open any um, thing you want. Paint, GIMP, uh, Photoshop. But, um, you just make your image. And then once you're done with it, where I save it to, in my... Um, MCP folder, I usually save it to a temp, bin, minecraft, and I create a new folder called mods, and save it in there. See, so yeah, I have all my uh, textures for my blocks in there, and the anchovy. So now, once you did that, you want to take your mods folder, uh, make sure you have it open, open the same folder again, and go into jars, bin, minecraft. And then, so you'll have it open two times. One sec. So, can you minimize that. Then, let me X that up. Okay, so now you have where your mods folder is. All you do is just drag it in. See, I already have it in here, so um, I don't need to drag it in again. But, uh, yeah, that's how you create your um, thing here. So, let me quickly go over the code before we test it. Um, maximize. Alright, so this, uh, package.net minecraft.source, that just means, um, 
the file is going to be created in here. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what it means. And this public class mod anchovy extends base mod. That means that um, this file here is um, extending base mod, the file inside mod loader, which you need. Or um, I'm pretty sure you could do it a different way without using mod loader, but um, I like this way better. And then this is just uh, saying, um, this is just creating your food. So um, this right here, I'm not sure what this is, but um, this right here, for each one you put in, like one, that uh, restores half a uh, food bar, like half um, a little food symbol. So if we put in six, that will restore three whole uh, food uh, symbol things. And so let's put in a, so we'll, it will restore four. And then set item name, that's just, um, that's creating what your item is called. Um, that's your in-game name, I'm pretty sure. Or this is, actually it's this. But, um, this is just telling mod loaders to override items.png and uh, to put in your um, image instead. So it uh, has your image. Well then add name, this is your in-game name, what it's gonna say when you scroll over. Add recipe, this is um, how to make your food. But if you don't want it, if you don't want to be able to craft your food, you could just delete this whole line um, altogether. And then this um, get version, this is what version of Minecraft. And then so yeah, once you're done with that, uh, you could just whoops, let me get out of. Oh, but uh, you could just run Minecraft. What the hell? Hmm. Yeah, you could just run Minecraft. And then, there we go. With this, you don't have to recompile yet. Um, you can just test it in here. So hopefully we don't have any errors. Alright, there we go. So, I'm just going to go into this world, I guess, I already have created. And we just wait for it to uh, build the terrain. And here, let me get out of here. There's not going to be inside too good. Um, yeah, so, we just need our crafting table and the piece of dirt actually I didn't go to that um, what this is add recipe I told you what that means but um new object this is um the first line of your crafting I went over this in another video but you want to have uh, two then you put another set of parentheses and another symbol and then you have and then um a character value of that block that Dirt and then character value dot value of and then parentheses and that and your symbol in there and then um, comma black dot dirt. That's just um that's just saying that. Oops, I don't want to delete that whole thing. But it means that um this in your first line that this symbol is a block of dirt. So once you put a block of dirt there, then it will create your um, thing, your item. Hold on, let's see what's wrong with this. Oh, um, we're not saving that anyway, so. Once you, uh, you can get your crafting table. Sorry if I'm stuttering. I, I always stutter a lot, but um, get your crafting table. Let's place this on the top of this tree. Actually we place it in the tree. And then we can start to make walking movements. But uh, yeah, we place the place the dirt. And then we get the food. Now, at, so um, actually, to test this out, <laughs> my image sucks for it, because I'm not going to make the images. Let's um, actually go to single player. Oh, whoops. A single, single player, and then we'll create a new world on survival. So we could see um, if it actually will restore. So I'm at 14 minutes. Of, damn. Okay. So let's just wait for it to um, save the chunks. Back to the game. Wow. Okay. So there we go. Now let's just sprint for a little until uh, I have four of my food bar symbols down, so I'll just pause till that happens.
Okay guys, um, so I'm back and I have four of my food bar things right here gone. So let's create our um, anchovies and let's test those. So if we do that, oh, and there we go, see it restored it. And um, it took a lot of time to uh, do that. Actually, it's very helpful. My friends helped me test this mod because apparently they glitched out in my Every time I go near them, they want to kill me. So I have to get away from them like crazy. Okay? Okay, they're like glitched out and they're not they're supposed to be creatures and not be able to get out of They attack me. So I was like sprinting the whole time. Like this. I can't even do it either. But um, yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, while you guys try it out yourself, I'll be running away from these penguins. So, um, I'm here 70. I uh, hope you enjoyed and I'm out.